Welcome back, dear viewers. Definitely, sports are you know something really essential to our uh, you know life. Uh, free diving, uh, breath hold diving, or skin diving is a form of underwater diving that re release on or realize uh, release on breath holding until uh, resurfing, rather than use of breathing uh, apparatus such as scuba gear besides the limits of breath hold immersion in water and exposure to high ambient pressure also have a psychological effect that limit uh, the depth and duration possible in free diving our guest is uh, the manager of the apnea sport in uh, kuwait uh, diving and life saving club also he's a member of target shooting committee at CMAS, the World Underwater Sports Federation. So let's all welcome our guest, Naif Hamid Sachin, technical manager of Kuwait free diving target shooting uh, surfish, uh, spearfishing teams. Uh, good morning, and it's our honor to have you, uh, Coach Naif, in uh, uh, Good Morning Kuwait. It's my honor, too. Uh, wow, this is like a lot of sports in uh, one, uh, as they say, in one club. Definitely, it's a, it's a six six games almost. Uh, this is six games in Kuwait. We actually we are late for this sport. This sport's already there. Okay, it's been there in the, in the world, world long yeah. time ago, yeah. more than thirty years. Okay, um, the World Underwater Federation (CMAS) have uh, around eleven sports underwater. Okay. So, the so besides all those six, there is yeah. a, another five. There is another five, yeah, okay. actually. And there is the life-saving also sport, mm -hmm. something kind of a sport. Yeah. So in Kuwait, uh, the life-saving underwater sport, uh, uh, Kuwaiti, the Kuwait Club and Life-Saving Club, started in uh, December 2019. Okay. So it's been around three years now. And we started with six sports okay. in Kuwait, um, sport diving and uh, fence swimming uh, underwater photog photography so when you say sport diving yeah what's that supposed to be Please sport explain diving each yeah term. yeah sure sure yeah. the sport diving is uh, using the scuba diving okay, gear I see. and it's uh, happens in the, the event come uh, start uh, happens in the pool yeah and uh, there is a f different kind of disciplines and each disciplines have a okay. different uh, stage okay and there is a spear there is the no, let so me t tell yeah. you first about uh, the different uh, because there are three games are close to each other so the sport diving is using the scuba gear uh, underwater photography use also scuba uh, gear yeah. and there is the fence swimming yeah which is the same as the swimming and speed swimming yeah. but using a fence and a snorkel yeah snorkel and there is three three games we, we call them the apnea games apnea. Uh, i'm the manager of these three games which is uh, free diving target shooting and spear fishing okay target shooting we're talking about something other than spear right Correct? it's using the spear yeah. but uh, inside the pool and there is a target oh there is a target and yeah. you shoot on the target but like spear that. fishing we're talking about fishing exactly the spears. yeah okay so what's uh, also uh, when we say uh, free diving uh, definition can we okay. explain uh, this in term of free diving is uh, designate uh, under a, it is a sporting event uh, is it like what we watching now like yeah, this is a uh, this is a kind of uh, this is one uh, side of the uh, free diving. There are two free diving. There is yeah. indoor and outdoor. Okay. This is the outdoor championship, the outdoor. Okay. which happened in Kash the, this uh, October. This is the indoor, I guess. This is the outdoor. This now, is the outdoor. outdoor is uh, using the through the sea, and it is a, a vertical discipline. Uh, a, a vertical discipline. Okay. The diver go down and comes up. And uh, the pool one, this was, which is the indoor, is uh, horizontal. Okay. So, so in definition, I'm yeah. sorry about. Yeah, yeah, go contrary. ahead. In definition, so it's a, uh, it's an apnea, which the athlete should hold his breath, and uh, while keeping his airways under the water. Yeah. Under the surface of the yeah. water uh, for a certain amount of time. Is it true they say when you uh, dive, 
basically, uh, especially like this kind of diving, what mm -hmm. we're watching now, you know, when you come out, you shouldn't come out uh, very quickly because then uh, your lungs will explode. Is that true? No, no, no. I mean, it's as different than uh, the scuba. This is what happened when you do a scuba diving, okay. which is different. With, with, with the oxygen uh, gears and everything. Yeah, because in, uh, in sport, uh, in, in uh, free diving, you're just taking a one breath. Okay. You're holding it. When yeah, you go the, down and yeah. the pressure compress the uh, airs inside your lungs. Yeah. And then when you come up, the same you, amount you of air is is increasing. Yeah, exhaling, so exhaling. So, so it's the same amount of oxygen you had before you dive. When you come up, it comes with you. So nothing happened like that. And they come in, some of the athletes come in a very high speed, actually. Uh-huh. So, so definitely uh, this is like uh, <coughs> what's called uh, free diving. There are a lot of competitions about that, definitely. Yeah, as I say, there's an indoor and outdoor. Indoor and outdoor. And each has different disciplines. And uh, we have uh, a phone call on the other side, uh, Mr. Sachin, uh, with uh, Hamid Al Kandiri. Yeah. Hello, Hamid, good morning. Hello, good morning. So, Hamid, tell us about uh, the experience of diving. Uh, well, first of all, thanks, thanks for having me. Uh, I'd say that. Uh, you know, the, the experience is just a mixture of feelings. Uh, when it comes to depth diving, it's not easily described in words since you obviously have to to live the experience to know so. Uh, however, however, the main feeling I would say is, is psychological rather than a physical one. All, you have all this tension and all this stress just piling up right before you dive into the water. And uh, uh, knowing also the kind of impact you're about to experience uh, and the abnormal things you're going to do to your body when, when you actually dive in to your desired depth. And it's basically, that's what I believe differentiates a great diver from a good one. Just the ability to leave all that stress behind at the surface of the sea, uh, followed by determination to, to dive into with, uh, with serenity and peacefulness. So, so Hamid, definitely you know uh, Coach Naif Sachin. Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> So uh, describe the, describe the rela relation between you and Naif uh, Sachin. Uh, it's, it's such a, such an honor, such an honor to uh, uh, to have an experience honor. with uh, with a guy like him. He always pushes us and uh, you know challenges us to our, to the limitations of our. Um, uh, let's say abilities, and uh, it's, it's, been, it's been really wonderful having him out. I've, I've been in this sport for, for for two years and maybe six months with it, with the national team, and it's uh, it, it's really uh, an, an honor to have him around. So uh, it's my honor, too. Mr. Uh, Satin. What do you want to say? He's one of your. Uh, uh, He's one of my proud players. This is actually was his first uh, championship ever, and he managed to. Reach. Uh, he was. He surprised me. I. I haven't expect him to reach that kind nice of level. Well, nice. Yeah. He reached uh, 73 meters and a national record. Wow. 73 meters. For the first attempt, he well, yeah, come amazing. to the champ, the world championship, with the pressure of the championship itself on the athlete. I've seen many world athletes. Uh, uh, they do not come out with the result they are wishing for, but he actually was a. He's a hard one. No, that's <laughs> nice. So, so Hamid, <coughs> what would you like, uh, you know, uh, as a, a message for uh, our viewers who are listening to you and watching Coach uh, Naib Sachin? What's your message? What would you like to say to them? Um, I would say uh, <coughs> just uh, uh, keep being determined, uh, uh, follow your dreams. I, uh, like from my experience, I've never thought in a million years of, of achieving such a, such a milestone. I mean, swimming or diving was always a hobby of mine, but uh, competitive in a challenging way, uh, yet alone achieving, achieving this milestone in, in such a short span of time. I've only been doing this for about two years, and as I said, six months with, with the national team. So uh, I never thought of, of being able of achieving so. And if, uh, if, if it sends any kind of message, I'd say it's never too late and, it's, and nothing is impossible. Just, just follow your dreams and, and everything will fall around, hopefully. 
Thank you, Hamid. We really wish you all the best, you know, in uh, next and future championships. And we wish you also to make us uh, proud of you. And definitely, Coach uh, uh, Sachin will be more proud, you know. Uh, so <coughs> he's one of your uh, sports divers, definitely. And uh, uh, 73, it's really amazing number. Uh, Mr. Uh, Naib. So, how, uh, why national records are important for athletes in this sport? Well, uh, actually, this sport is an individual sport, is uh, same as the athlete uh, sport, mm -hmm. which uh, the athletes try to always reach uh, the best number. So, the national records is the goal for the for the for the citizens of the country. Okay. It's, in, it's within the state. Yeah. So. He's so, uh, basically he's the the, the 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 first Kuwaiti to ever reach 73, 73. meters. This is the national record, okay. and there is the continental record also, world. and the world record. The world, yeah. yeah. So we which have is the like dream three numbers. for okay. Yeah, which is the dream for okay. Everybody. So so the national record push the players to do to to reach the continental and to reach to the, the world. Yes. So what's what's the continent number? The record. Well, uh, I think. That's around 97, probably. 97. 97 and uh, the world? Or the world for the this disciplines, yeah. I think around, if I, it's around 128. Oh, 120. Yeah, but uh, this you is. You think a human being can really take if, that if, pressure? If we, if we reach the level of, which I am hoping that in two years, we reach the level of the 90s and 100 meter, we actually managed to compete uh, for a medal, a world medal. Okay, world. Because uh, even the, uh, the, uh, the, the champ of the world, they don't uh, all the time get the white card in the, okay. uh, in the attempt. Because it's a one attempt to okay. try it. Okay. So uh, if you do any mistake, that you, you disqualified you, so you, your, your result is gone. Okay, so the one below you get it. That's, and I've seen that uh, many championships. So, I mean, uh, okay, do you think it's manageable as yep. Kuwaiti divers to reach the 90s? Of course. It's, it's, we did this in two years. Actually, Hamid, this is his first time. So, so basically, there is definitely, uh, which means there are some certain exercises for the lungs that makes... Uh, the it has a certain time of training, actually. Okay. The issue is in Kuwait that we don't have the depth. Okay. Our oh, really? We yes, don't have depth. Our seas, the maximum is 40 meters. There's okay. nothing. Okay. So, so you have to travel. They have to abroad. travel. Usually they go to Dahab in Egypt, which okay. is, they have a very good place for uh, training. The athletes go for camp for one month, like no. this, or two months. <coughs> And they train themselves, and it takes times actually because uh, they train like this two days, and when they rest, the body need to rest, and they uh, increase one meter, two meter each attempt. Okay. And the issue is with the depth is not the breath holding actually. Hamad, he's actually actually he's, he's also a champ in uh, in the pool in uh -huh. a disciplines called static, which is holding the breath. Why staying in Why one place? In, okay. He did it. He had a seven minutes uh, time. Seven he can minutes. hold his breath for seven minutes. Wow, so nice. you don't have a problem with the the, the, the holding the breath. The breath. Because the, the all the dive is around two meters, uh, two minutes and two and a half minutes. The issue is with the equalization of the air and uh, of the air and the air. Really. This is the hardest thing. Okay. It's yeah. not the lung here. We yeah. Talking. So y they need to. Practice. Adapt the body, adapt. Okay. Uh, the gra body adapt. gradually, yeah, yeah gradually, gradually. And, and like this. And the more training they do, the better they are, actually. Okay. Actually, that's, that's definitely uh, something amazing, uh, mm. uh, Mr. Uh, Naif uh, Sachin, and uh, we learned a great deal. So if you have a last message for our viewers, your mm. players, your divers, what would you like to say to them? Well, I... Uh, for my players, I tell them keep going, and I actually I like to send a message uh, for the public authorization of sports, and uh, also yeah, they need support. You they need, need support. sponsor, okay, as absolutely. you say. That they need to travel and yeah. to train outside. This is our game. We are Kuwaitis. 
and it's our ancestor job is exactly, to die to die yeah this is and 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 we are good in, in two added. years we managed to reach that level and our level comparing to the world uh, like th this championship was there are 39 uh, countries mm -hmm. we were in the middle actually we are the, we are ranked between 14 to 20 which is a very good mm -hmm. as a start for uh, for a national team yeah and we have a good solid national team so we need support and we actually need the pool yeah. here in Kuwait. Oh, the, you don't have guys. The club we are asking, I want to train my championship. Be, do you know that's in May, next May, the World Indoor Championship is going to be here in Kuwait. Oh. We actually managed to, re, uh, to reach that level and convince the World uh, Federation to uh, have bring the championship, championship in, Kuwait. in Kuwait. So I want to train, my, I want to train my national team. I, I hope, so I I hope, hope someone's uh, definitely help us with that. Definitely yeah. we hope, you know, uh, the uh, athletes committee and the sports committee uh, look at, you know, uh, coach Naif Sachin and, you know, his demands. Uh, definitely we wish you all the best, coach Sachin. Thank you and very much. to your athletes and divers. Uh, mm -hmm. Great thanks to you and uh, thank you for being with us in Good Morning Kuwait. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Dear viewers, we'll have a break and after that we'll come back to more exciting segments.